The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. As we enter into this time of worship and praising the Lord, we hear that Jesus, in the seventh chapter of Mark, for this weekend our text focuses on the healing presence of Christ. He heals the daughter of a lady who's outside of the family of God, but with a word is included and is blessed. Her daughter's healed, and then and again, a man who is deaf is healed by the works of Jesus Christ. And all the people, they were astounded beyond measure, saying, He, Jesus, has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. How amazing your presence is, dear Jesus, and that you make us whole and give us peace. You restore us and renew us physically, spiritually, emotionally. We thank you and may our work of faith serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. time to worship come now is the time to give your heart come just as you are to worship come just as you are before
שלום. מי? יס. שלום. I have a question for you. For me. I don't have many answers, but I'm listening. Do you want to be healed? Who are you? We'll get to that later. But my question remains. Will you take me to the water? <laughs> Look, I'm having a really bad day. You've been having a bad day for a long time. So? Sir? I have no one to help me into the water when it's stirred up. And when I do get close, the others step down in front of me. And so... Look at me. Look at me. That's not what I asked. I'm not asking you about who's helping you or who's not helping. or who's getting in your way. I'm asking about you. <laughs> I've tried. For a long time, I know. And you don't want false hope again, I understand. But this pool, it has nothing for you. It means nothing, and you know it. But you're still here. Why? I don't know. You don't need this pool. You only need me. So, do you want to be healed? So let's go. Get up, pick up your mat, and walk. Free to walk, like he said. Don't forget your bed. Why does this matter? Because you're not coming back here. That life is over. Everything changes now.
you stood before my failure and carried the cross for my shame. My sin weighed upon your shoulders, my soul now to stand. So why could I say? What could I do But offer this heart of gold Completely to you So I walk upon salvation Your spirit So what could I say? And what could I do? But offer this heart, oh God, completely to you. So what could I say? So I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned In awe of the one who gave it all I'll stand my soul, Lord, to you surrendered All I am is yours So I'll stand with arms These prayers are ones that you have made and formulated and given to me. And as our works are done in faith, that is a gift from God, so too are these prayers given to us by the presence of God and made actual in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Have no fear. God will save us. He will erase all our concerns and make us whole. Praising only God, who is our constant help 
who provides for all our needs forever and ever. Let us show no favoritism among God's people. All are God's children. We shall trust that God is present equally with all and shall treat one another with respect. The humble shall stand in his grace. Nothing is beyond God's help. By faith, we can receive healing. God's help is for everyone who believes. God's glory to his name. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Mm -hmm.